Alright, money gang, I got you another reaction today. Today we got how to get a girlfriend in seven steps. Y'all need to go run up my last reaction because I got a video for y'all coming. Did you just see my Instagram story? Y'all need to go run up that reaction I did. Did you do whiskey? You know, I'm going to knock that out the way. But anyways, like I was saying, we got how to get a girlfriend in seven steps. And yeah, and yeah bro, I want to see if this guy going to teach me some grids that I never knew, that I never tried of before. So we're gonna get right into it. If I if he says some good tips, I might use it. So we'll see what bro talking about. Hey everyone and welcome to Top Thing. Today we're going to learn how to get a girlfriend in seven steps. Now let's begin. Number one, assess your readiness. Hmm? Getting a girlfriend isn't easy, but it's not as complicated as many people say. You don't need to reinvent yourself to earn the attention of someone you like. You don't need to play tricks or use complicated strategies. Most of the time, but we already know that, bro. We already know this, bro. We already been know that you don't gotta use complicated strategies to get a girl. If you didn't know that, bro, like my boy Duke said, you a cheesehead. You a cheesehead if you think you gotta change yourself to get a female. But anyway, we'll see what his brother gonna say, bro. The secret to getting a girlfriend is simply changing your attitude. But before you change anything, just ask yourself a few important questions. Many guys want girlfriends. You may like the idea of finding a partner, but you may not be ready for a relationship. You may struggle to get attention from women because you've got work to do on yourself. <laughs> well, here's the problem. You may think your life won't be complete unless you're dating an attractive girl. In your mind, a relationship may feel like the most important thing in the world. So you put women on a pedestal, and you convince yourself that you're not worthy or deserving of their attention. Girls may think you're desperate, needy, or insecure, but the truth is, you don't have faith in yourself, and it shows. So the reason you're not getting attention is because you haven't accepted yourself. You aren't happy being single, so you're using a relationship to fill an emotional void in your life. No woman wants to fill a dang what was this bro said that made his video. He kind of said facts and a lot of dudes are like that. I'll be like that sometimes. Keep spitting. I'm kind of want to learn this grid. Women want to be with someone who like themselves, someone who feels confident in their relationship status, no matter what it is. Women are attracted to men who feel secure in their own skin. So before you make any moves or ask anyone out, do a self assessment, okay? Are you happy being single? Are you happy with the person you are? You know what? I'm going to do a little Q&A with this boy. He said, am I happy being single? First of all, I feel like I'm in the right place in life. I feel like it becomes, if a woman comes, they go. I love being single. I love being single. Don't get me wrong about it. I love women at the same time. But do I like being single more than I have a woman? No, not at all. But I know how to be single and enjoy myself. So, what's, all right, what's the next question, bro? If the answer are you happy with the person you are? I'm happy. I'm amazed the person I am. I accomplished so much last year, this year. I'm doing YouTube right now. Track, doing different stuff to keep myself busy so I don't have to be worrying about girls too much. All right, so let's see what he else he got to say. Is no, then a relationship may not be the best thing for you. Instead, take some time to shore up your weaknesses, work on your career, expand your horizons, get out of your comfort zone, and build the kind of confidence that women find so attractive. And once you feel secure about who you are, then you can start looking for that special someone. If you're ta <sighs> but let me get off my screen, bro. Let me get off my screen, but... Bro, spitting facts so far, y'all. I'm really messing with what he's saying. He's saying, you ain't doing stuff business courtesy-wise. You don't need to be worrying about nobody. I feel it. Okay, let's go right back on to it. Two, rewrite your narrative. All right, let's say you're happy with who you are. That's already a major step in the right direction. But even if you do like yourself, there's no guarantee that you'll make a good impression on the women you meet. Most of the time, men approach women with the wrong mindsets. Many guys sabotage their chances long before they start up a conversation. 
You may believe that no girl will be attracted to you, and that self-deprecating narrative stops you from approaching people that you're interested in. So stop telling yourself that you're not good enough. Our society encourages men and women to judge each other. For example, people might say, why is she with him? She's an eights, while he's only a four. That, that'd be some real fun nigga shit, bro. Like, why, they, why do they care about, like, if a, if a woman or a man looks better than a girl? Why would they care? Why would they care? Bro, I need to put that in the comments, y'all. Y'all need to start this. Stop doing this. It's 2022. It's 2022 now. If a man's a two and she's an eight, stop saying stuff. You just jealous because you can't get no female, bro. Stop saying that. That's weird. Just let just let it flow. Just just be happy for what they're what they're doing and try to improve on yourself and mind your business. I'm just saying, bro. Cause I see that too much. I see that way too much, and it's been going on for a while. This man spit your facts, teaching people some real, genuine stuff. Now I want to see what else he's going to say in this bit. We convince ourselves that physical attraction defines who we are and aren't worthy of dating. But looks, come on, they're just one aspect of attraction. Yeah, physical appeal's important, but an attractive personality completely changes the way women perceive you. If you can rewrite your narrative, you can approach any woman like you deserve her attention. Because you do. If you believe in yourself and show off your personality, almost any girl will give you the time of day. So, all right, let's do a little exercise. Just think about a narrative that you might tell yourself. You might say, there's no way she wants to talk to me or she's way out of my league. In your mind, these are reasons not to approach someone you like, right? But they're not reasons at all. They're excuses. You're assuming that you aren't good enough to get her attention. So you just make these excuses to save yourself from getting hurt. Now, let's turn those self-deprecating statements around. Instead of saying, she's way out of my league, just tell yourself, she looks like someone I want to get to know. Instead of saying, there's no way she wants to talk to me, Think to yourself, why do I want to talk to her? Bro, speak your facts, bro. Hey, look, if y'all ain't watching this bit, fuck, fuck with my homie right here, bro. Bro, speak your facts. Bro, speak your facts. Like the video, bro. Go subscribe to Top Think. Bro, speak your facts. There ain't no sponsorship. You just speak your facts, showing people how to live life. So I'm going to show my bro love. Bro, love. But anyways, keep going with it. See what else he got to say. He teaching me some new rigs I never heard of. By turning these statements around, you give yourself the power to make decisions. Your preferences matter just as much as hers. You're both equal parts of any relationship. So don't sell yourself short. Rewrite your narrative and use your newfound confidence to win her over. Number three, unravel expectations. This may be the most important thing we cover in this video. So many guys are desperate for attention. They care way too much about what women think about them because they enter every conversation with huge expectations. You might think to yourself, this could be the girl I end up dating, or this could be the person I fall in love with. While it is a romantic concept, those expectations are driving women away. Guys who are successful with women learn to stop caring. They don't talk to girls thinking every conversation is going to get them closer to a relationship. They're much more confident and comfortable around women because they don't have any expectations. So it's time to get rid of your expectations. It's an irritating habit that pops up whether you like it or not. So remind yourself that every conversation is just a conversation, no matter who you're talking to. Most conversations aren't going to change your life. More often than not, when you're talking to a girl, nothing's going to happen. You may not have chemistry, the timing might be wrong, or maybe neither one of you are interested, but hey, that's okay. Yeah, bro, like, if you're one of them dudes that's just, like, thinking every time you talk to a girl that she like you, get the fuck off my channel. Get off my channel, bro. Like, I'm going to be real with you. A lot of these girls... You can't, you got to be mysterious with them, bro. You got to be a little mysterious. They like that mystery. They like, you got to have them sometimes chase after you if you really want them. You know what I'm saying? 
So worrying about yourself is key number one, like bro saying. Like he's saying like you shouldn't be thinking that every time you talk to him that they just you gonna get closer to getting in a relationship with him. Even though sometimes you can't get a case. You get a girl feeling good. Y'all having a y'all vibing so much, she probably like you. But bro, yeah, bro, just don't be doing that. So just step one, worry about yourself. Step two, just just let life flow. If you see something click, she feels feeling for you, and you feel feeling for her, then you know that's the right one. But anyway, the one was what we're saying, bro, because he's spitting facts. Okay. When you stop expecting every interaction to change your life, you remove a mountain of unnecessary pressure off of your shoulders. So care a little less, get rid of your expectations, and stop putting pressure on yourself. Hey, learn to let go and be comfortable, because that's exactly what women want to see. Number four, approach with confidence. All right, now that you've gotten rid of your expectations, let's talk about making your move. When you approach a woman, you need to get off on the right foot. First impressions are incredibly important. Many girls make up their minds very quickly about the guys they meet, so your approach is critical. That may sound like a lot of pressure, but there's a big silver lining. It's not nearly as difficult to make a good first impression as many guys think. The hardest part of approaching a woman is overcoming your own fear. As you're standing on the sidelines, you may feel terrified. You may think about all the things that could go wrong, so you make excuses to explain why you haven't made your move yet. But the worst thing she can tell you is no. <laughs> That's it. She's not interested, so you politely walk away. You may be imagining a complete disaster, but the stakes aren't that high, so you have nothing to be afraid of. Yeah, bro, that's another thing, like, if you, bro, like, little bro watching me right now, like he said, bro, like, you ever heard that saying, other fish in the sea, if a girl rejects you, and you trying to get her number or something, move on, bro, just move on, I wish I had the audio and still work for my track bitch, but I ain't gonna tell y'all some stuff, I be getting turned down a lot, but in my mindset, it's just like, why should I care, because a whole bunch of girls in the world, you know, I still can manage to get a girl for any time I feel like it. Like, uh, I know I can if I want to try hard. So that's what y'all got to have, that mindset. If she rejects you, that's time for you. All right, forget her. It's time to boss up, bro. You got things you could do. You can accomplish so much in this year. I wanted to see people grow. So don't let that hold you back, y'all. Bro, speak your facts. I want to finish this good. Once you overcome this huge hurdle, the rest is easy. Just be yourself, be confident, and keep it simple. Introduce yourself, make a joke if you're feeling funny, and most importantly, just try to have fun. Because if you're not enjoying yourself, neither will she. Number five, active listening. As the conversation deepens, you may run into a few common roadblocks. Many guys, for example, spend the whole conversation talking about themselves. They tell dozens of their own stories. They interrupt people while they're talking. You get so wrapped up in what you have to say that you stop paying attention to anyone else. Guys who find success with women are active listeners. They don't just shut up and listen. They stay engaged at every point in the conversation. So when she's talking, they try to understand her perspective and they ask good questions because they genuinely want to know more. Girls want you to care about what they have to say because, come on, you want the same thing from her, right? Be an active listener. Pay attention, and when in doubt, stop talking about yourself. So, you want to get hired before summer? Shut your ass up, bro. I got a job right now. I don't want to get hired for none of y'all internet jobs. Y'all some scammers. I pay $5 an hour. I want some real money. So, if y'all want to talk about money, don't say 75k a year. No one's making that much money from y'all website. I'm going to really be hating on y'all because y'all y'all make y'all interrupting my reaction, bro. I I hate ads like, bro, I'm just showing you love, bro. Top thing, I just showed you love, bro. Don't make, don't make me so pissed off to where I'm going to dislike your video, bro. You saying some good rigs. Don't be making no ads like that, bro. Not cool. I'm just fucking with you. All right. You've gotten to know each other. There comes a point when you have to make a decision. Are you interested in her? If the answer is no, it's time to walk away. If the answer is yes, 
you need to make your interest clear. There are plenty of different ways to show interest. You could ask her on a date or ask for her number. You could make a move or just tell her that you're having a good time. But whatever you do, be decisive. If you ask for her number, don't assume she's going to turn you down. Don't say things like, would it be okay if I got your number? Women want you to be decisive. They want you to take action, so you tell her exactly what you want. Even if your plans end up changing, girls like guys who are confident enough to take the initiative. Number seven, the power of respect. Bro, put me on game. I ain't gonna lie. So you gotta be an attacker to get females? You gotta be an attacker. I feel it. Y'all. Y'all be out for this vlog one next week. I'm gonna attack a girl. I wanna try this riz. I'm a I'm gonna rewatch this video and try this man's riz. If I manage to get a girl number on my channel, just know I'm gonna I'm gonna be the attacker. Y'all be like look on the lookout for that vid, bro. You've probably heard tips like this one before. People say you should always be respectful of every girl you meet. But what does respect look like? For some guys, respect means good manners. It's opening doors and paying for meals. These formal gestures show her that you're serious about her as an individual, not just some guy looking for a girlfriend. That's ultimately what respect boils down to. A woman wants to know that you value her specifically. In other words, she wants to be both treasured and taken seriously. That means taking her preferences into account when you plan your next date. That means valuing the advice she gives because she might be a whole lot smarter than you. Many men have a bad habit of bulldozing the women they meet. You may not realize what you're doing, but she does. So make an effort to demonstrate respect whenever you can. Treat her like the valuable individual that she is because a little respect goes a long way. Hey, thank you for watching Top. Hey, little bro, show me some riz. Like I said, y'all, he got me real tuned in. So next week, Monday, I want to try to spit some riz at school. Let's try to get this on camera. If I can take, manage to get some riz up, riz up somebody, bro. And I've been looking at this girl for the last couple of days, y'all. I'm going to try to raise her up. If I can manage to raise her up, I'm going to try this tip. Y'all, I want to actually see, do a right, give y'all a reaction of me watching this and also try to get some raise up moments, you know. But we're going to see what happens, y'all. Y'all be on the lookout for that vid next week. That like, comment, subscribe, roll to 90. Um, Yeah, we're going to run up this all year. We're going to pop out this year. Hopefully, reach 100K, y'all. I'm fucking with this. This YouTube stuff real fun, so, yeah. Also, I'm going to try to give y'all a link to my TikTok, so you can go run that up, too. All right, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. See y'all boys later.